Hi, and welcome to Growing Possibilities. On today's episode, we're going to look at how pea solubilizing biotech works, how naturally occurring microbes solubilize pea, how to turn that natural occurrence into a technology, and then how to create a replicable commercial product with that technology. There are a massive amount of microbes present naturally in the soil. It's estimated there's over 1 billion microbes per gram of soil. Some of those microbes naturally solubilize pea. Now, the potential for pea solubilizing microbes to be used in commercial agriculture has been recognized since the 80s. These naturally occurring microbes use an enzyme called phosphatase in order to solubilize the pea. Now, here's everyone's favorite scientist, Jeremy Voth, to explain more. Thanks, Rick. Phosphate solubilizing bacteria produce natural enzymes called phosphatase which change the soil pH level and break the bond that traps phosphorus to other elements in the soil, such as iron, aluminum, and calcium. This allows phosphorus to once again become available to the plant. Phosphatase produces a pH catalyst that either raises or lowers the soil pH to break the bond between phosphorus and its connected ion. This frees up the phosphorus and makes it available for absorption by the plant. Bacteria not only affect the phosphorus in the soil, but the plant roots as well. Root hairs are the main pathway for phosphorus uptake into the plant. Many phosphate solubilizing bacteria, like Bacillus firmus, can change the structure of plant roots by synthesizing plant growth promoting hormones and releasing them near the roots. This can stimulate the plant to increase the length of its root hairs. And since phosphorus is most accessible in the rhizosphere or root zone, this directly enhances the plant's ability to absorb the solubilized phosphorus. Thanks, Jeremy. Now, it's one thing to say that there are naturally occurring pea solubilizing microbes in the soil. But in order for those microbes to be considered technology, they have to be isolated, tested, and reproduced. At Excite Bio, we isolated, tested, and reproduced the microbe Bacillus firmus to the extent that we were able to obtain a worldwide patent on its use. Still, for this technology to see widespread adoption, it has to be cost-effective, uniform in formulation, ready to use, and user-friendly. Many companies in the ag biological space claim to have found a revolutionary bacterium or fungus, but if they are not following proper procedures to commercialize the technology and bring it to market, then it can fail in the field. And that failure hurts not only their company, but the reputation of the ag biologicals industry as a whole. Every company tends to develop proprietary processes and formulations around their technology. At Excite Bio, Bacillus firmus, which is patented, forms the basis of our PGPR technology. However, the formulations that keep it consistent year after year are based on proprietary technology. Now, companies cannot be expected to divulge all their trade secrets on their proprietary technology, but they should be able to explain in broad strokes how their technology or commercial product works. For you as a farmer or ag retailer, it's your responsibility to ask a company making claims, how does this product work and how has it been engineered to perform consistently in the field year after year? Until next time, this is Rick Clement wishing you healthier plants and better yields.